all right guys i'm finally back welcome back to my channel happy new year to everybody today i have a really fun kind of like studio vlog and i'm super super excited because i just got everything in the mail that i needed to start making my handmade crochet hooks and if you guys have been recently watching some of my live streams then you've heard me announce that i am looking into creating my own merch and that starts with clothing apparel tote bags and even some handmade crochet hooks yes i'm making these crochet hooks from scratch i'm probably crazy and this is going to be very time consuming but you know for a crafter like me i'm so excited to like start to learn new tips and tricks and kind of just pick up a new craft which is going to be resin art so as you guys can probably imagine i have never done resin art before or epoxy type of crafting before so i'm just gonna go ahead and quickly run through some of the items i've picked up to make these crochet hooks for you guys i'm hoping to get a good amount of these hooks done by the time that i do my entire merchandise drop so yeah let's just go ahead and get started so in a second here you guys are going to see just how crazy and cluttered my desk is with all the materials but to start off i do have my two handy dandy mixing formulas for the resin all right, and next up I have two different sets of crochet hook molds. Let's go ahead and pull these out of their containers. So over the last few weeks, I have been doing a ton of resin art research online, and these are the crochet hook mold sets that I decided to go with. Pretty sure these molds are silicone or silicon, and they are a little bit flimsy, as you guys can see here. They're kind of falling over. They look like toys or something, but... Um, my struggle with these is going to somehow get these molds to lie flat when I'm pouring the resin into them. And as you can see, they're kind of falling over. So I need to find some kind of way to maybe tape them down, tape them in place for a whole 24 hours so that the molds can set into place. And because I knew that each of these sets is going to take at least 24 hours to solidify and cure, I did end up getting a second set because I don't want to wait a whole day just to get one crochet hook set done. So I've got two sets here. I also got a huge major baggie of the these like dropper style uh you guys know what these are called but they're pretty much just like droppers because the molds are so tiny and i do need to get into like the very tip of the hook right there all right what else do i have oh i also got some more silicone these are kind of just like silicone cups just to help me you know pour the epoxy into the molds and you want to make sure that you're using something reusable like a silicone cup that way once everything has been cured and set you can just tear off the epoxy from your cups and reuse them for later projects probably the most exciting part about making these crochet hooks is that i really wanted to customize them kind of with two different styles so the first thing that i want to customize my crochet hooks with is some holographic glitters and as you guys can see here i have a bunch of different colors i think by far my favorite one is kind of like this black shimmering pearl one and then to top it off another couple favorites here are this more teal aqua holographic you guys know i love teal shades and of course this standard white pearl essence opal these are so gorgeous i'm so happy that i ordered these i know it's kind of hard to see with the light casting back but i ordered a bunch of dried flowers and a lot of these are very miniature and tiny because i wanted to make sure that the flower petals were going to fit inside the crochet hook itself you guys know that crochet hooks themselves aren't very big and bulky so you need something very dainty and tiny to fit inside the actual hook itself so I figured I would deck some of these crochet hooks out with different shades and different colors, different styles of flowers. Yeah, I'm actually a little bit nervous because as you guys probably know by now, I have never done resin art before. I kind of know what I'm doing because I've done so much research over the last few weeks. But you know what, let's just start getting into it. Trial and error is the only way to learn. And if I want to get all these hook sets out by the time that I want to do my merch drop, hopefully in February, then I need to get a start on them now. So let's just go ahead, tie and lapse, and you guys can watch me create some gorgeous crochet hooks. I'm hoping that the first set comes out 
almost flawless and I can learn this quick and easy. Yeah, and I just hope that my learning curve isn't too severe because I don't want to waste a lot of my products. So let's go ahead and get into crafting. All right, so I finished up the first batch of crochet hooks, I wanna say about two hours ago. So now at this point, I just have to pretty much play the waiting game. And this is what I've come up with so far. They're not perfect, so I already know that on my next batch, I need to figure out a new way to kind of formulate these and get these exactly looking how I would like them. So hopefully the next time I pop back on here, I will have a gorgeous update for you all. And if not, you guys can watch me make some more hooks. <laughs> Hello again, I'm popping back on here because I think it's actually been two days. So I have been letting these crochet hooks set for two days now, and I should have done it on camera, but I actually popped out the very first crochet hook and it turned out so cute. I'm actually really, really happy with how this first hook turned out. Can you guys see? how gorgeous it looks with those flower petals in there. I believe this is a 9.0 millimeter hook, so it's nice and thick. There are a few things about the hook that I need to change when I start making my next few batches, but you know, it's all kind of a learning process for me. This is definitely a new style of hobby, so I need to kind of get used to how to work with resin. But so far, this is adorable. Tell me a set of clear resin hooks like this. I mean, tell me that you guys don't just absolutely die when you see this. So let's just go ahead and, you know, unbox or open the rest of the hooks. I don't really know how the rest of these turned out. Um, yeah, there's just a few things about the hooks that bother me. For example, you know, these molds that I'm using, some of them came very straight and perfect in the mail, and then some of them came and the mold themselves sit crooked, like they're naturally sitting a little wavy or a little crooked. So this is something I'm going to have to kind of figure out how to trial and error and fix. But let's just go ahead and take off the casing. Whoa, this one's crazy. So yeah, this is like another one of the hooks that kind of came out a little bit crooked just because of the mold themselves. But I feel like once I kind of heat it up a little bit and bend it into shape, she will be good to go. I don't want to break it, but this is the next hook that I have. Oh, look at those flower petals in there. So gorgeous. I'm glad I got my lighting out for this or else you wouldn't really be able to see it too well. But can you guys see here that's like a little bit crooked. So something to work on for the next few batches. Let's go ahead and open up another one. I'm just going to peel back the silicone casing. Oh my gosh. So darn cute. I'm actually really impressed with myself. I'm in love with these resin hooks. Even if I couldn't like use these hooks every single day, I feel like just having a beautiful aesthetic set of crochet hooks would be killer. Like this is all I really need for Instagram photos now. You know, if I need to take any kind of product shots, whether it be me making something or you know how to work on a project, and I just insert these little aesthetic hooks 
into the photo. Oh, so cute. I'm like fangirling over my own stuff. This is really cool. I cannot believe I can say that I'm actually making crochet hooks now. Very, very spontaneous of me. Very, it's very crafty of me. Very creator of me. <laughs> oh yes, all right, this hook came out perfect actually. But on the plus side, as I'm trying to like bend and play with this hook, these resin hooks can go under quite a bit of pressure and they're not snapping or cracking. So I know that these are gonna be pretty darn durable. Like they're not, you know, cheapy little hooks. They're very sturdy. I'm very impressed. But here is the last hook. So let's go ahead, oh my gosh, and hold all of these up. This is so aesthetically pleasing. Hello, can you guys see this? Oh my gosh, guys, just take a look. So fun. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so now at this point, I'm pretty much just going to try to make a bunch of different style of crochet hooks. Like I said, I've got these floral, rose flower, petal type of styles. And then I'm also going to be using some beautiful holographic glitters. So yeah, I think now I'm just going to try my hand at some holographic glitter resin hooks. And let's try to really get a huge inventory going. Like I said, I wanna have a bunch of these ready for sale by the time that I like relaunch my shop and start selling all of my merchandise. So let's try to get a handful of these bundles done. All right, so now at this point that I've given you guys kind of like my small business update and kind of like my new project run through, I did wanna talk about Inventora, which is today's video sponsor. And I think for this next batch of crochet hooks, I do wanna to try to dabble into some of this like clear white holographic glitter. So let's just go ahead and add a little dabble of this into my resin and kind of just play around with it, see what looks good, see what little mixtures I like. And I'm really hoping that these holographic glitters come out looking stunning. I don't even know how much to add. And they actually reached out to me a few weeks back because they know that a huge portion of my subscriber base are small business owners or they're looking to get started into creating their own handcrafted business. Ooh, okay, I'm really liking these glitters. They look so gorgeous in here. Let's go ahead and start pouring them into my molds. But I've actually been really excited to work with Inventoria because they're so dedicated to helping small business owners get started and just get more organized in how they're running their day-to-day -day business. And because I know so many of my subscribers out there are trying to start their own business and they're always asking me on tips and tricks on how to manage my day-to-day -day operations, this goes out to you guys. So Inventor is actually an all-in-one inventory system that's designed to help you manage your products and the supplies that are used to create your items from start to finish. And what I personally like so much about Inventora was that it was actually created by another small business owner, a candle maker named Diana, who had trouble managing her inventory stock with just basic spreadsheets. And with their online application, they're constantly working on expanding the features of Inventora and have since added other production capabilities, such as syncing your Inventora with your online shops, such as Wix, Shopify, and Etsy. So everything's kind of linked together all in one, you don't have to go searching through different tabs. Everything is linked together on your Inventora. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull up Inventora on my computer screen right now, just so that you guys can see how simple and easy it is to use this application. They have a few separate tabs here just to help you organize your day-to-day -day business. So right here on my homepage, I have all the materials that I use. So by adding all of my materials and my products to this homepage, it makes it really easy for me to keep track of how many items I have, what's in stock, what's getting getting low and all the completed items that are ready to be shipped out for other orders. And by far the most helpful thing about Inventora is this production page. So when you guys get a new order in and you wanna start creating this order from start to finish, you can go ahead and start a new production run, give your item a name, and like I just showed you guys with that materials page, because I've already gone ahead and updated everything that I have in my shop available to use, I can go ahead and start adding the different items that it takes to create these resin hooks. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit resin hook 
I'm gonna go ahead and click on this production underneath my materials needed because everything is in stock. That means that it's ready to be made and I don't have to worry about running to the store. I already know that I have everything that I need to create these items. But something else that I wanted to point out to you guys about Inventora that really helps me manage my stock and my inventory is let's go ahead and create a new production run. This is just an example. I do have to make a balaclava very, very soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add that here. I do have to make three of these special order balaclavas. And as you guys can see here, after I update my quantity, there is a little notification here that lets me know that some of my materials in stock are running very, very low. So this is kind of just a helpful little cue to me to let me know that I need to start replenishing my stock and I can't really get started on this project unless I run out and get more items. So this really just helps me to keep all of my materials organized that way I don't start a project and in the middle of it I need to run out to the store go pick up new things just to finish a product and yeah it's really that easy to use the Inventora so now that I have my production run started I'm gonna go ahead and physically get started on pouring all of my resin into these molds let's go ahead and see what we can come up with today so yeah, if any of my other small business owners out there would like to give Inventora a try, I'm gonna go ahead and leave my referral link down below in the description, guys. Feel free to use that, get signed up with Inventora, and start managing your day-to-day -day tasks a little bit more smoothly. And I hope you guys love Inventora as much as I love it. All right, so I'm just popping back on here really fast just to kind of finish up the video and show you guys how these latest holographic hooks turned out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop them out of their little casings. These are so freaking cute. Can you guys see all of that glitter in there? Look at that, guys. Wow, all right, let's move on. Pull some more out. So I just finished pulling most of the hooks out of their little casings, and this is what I have ended up with. I think they're so gorgeous. I love the little touch of like holographic glitters in there. I think these add such a gorgeous touch. I cannot wait to take product shots with these. Honestly, I think my tutorials and my Instagram posts are gonna improve from this point just because these are so aesthetically pleasing. Let's try to dim the light a little bit. Can you guys see all that glitter in there? So yeah, here is a cute little set of the latest hooks that I'm working on. So now that I'm starting to kind of perfect the mixture a little bit more, like I showed you guys probably earlier in this video, I do have a grip of other holographic colors. So I've got some really gorgeous greens, some pinks, some violets, a deeper purple, and then of course this really gorgeous black shade. So I think once I start adding in a little bit more color to these hooks, they're gonna be so gorgeous and I can't wait to get these out to sell to you guys. But yeah, this just about wraps up today's video. I hope you guys kind of like this little hang out with me, studio vlog, catch up, merchandise, drop catch up. And I'm just gonna keep working on these over the next few weeks and try to get a good amount of these ready to go, ready for pre-orders. And yeah, if you guys like this kind of video, let me know down below if you guys wanna see more of these and like a little bit more in depth on how I'm making these hooks and just different gorgeous, colorful creations. Again, like my previous floral ones. I think these are so stunning. Tell me you guys wouldn't just love a set of these. Oh, so cute. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll be seeing you all very, very soon. Bye.